Welcome to English Without Limits. In today's lesson, we will learn more about how to describe things. We often need to describe things. We tell people what they are like. These describing words we call adjectives. Adjectives. And adjectives make life interesting. When we describe something, they make it much more interesting to listen to. I hope you enjoy today's lesson. In our last lesson, we learned how to describe things. We learned how to say something is warm, soft, pink, or green, curly, bright, shiny, or clean, or dirty. We learned some of these words to describe things. Now, why do we use adjectives? We use them to describe things for two reasons. The first is, if there are two things and they're the same kind of thing, we need how to tell the difference between the two of them. For example, if there are two dogs, I can say the little dog, the small dog, is mine, but the big dog belongs to someone else. The little one is mine, the big one belongs to someone else. And so we use adjectives to tell the difference between two things of the same kind. There's another reason we use adjectives as well. We use adjectives to make it more interesting when we speak. If I tell you I have a stuffed toy, that's not very interesting. But if I tell you I have a soft, furry, warm, stuffed toy, that is much more interesting. So we use adjectives for two reasons. To tell the difference between things and to make it more interesting. Let's join the class as they review some of the adjectives we learned last time. Well, good morning everyone. Uh, last time, oh I'm sorry, I should introduce myself. My name is Paul and I will be teaching for the next little while. Um, but last time we were here, uh, your other teacher went and used things we call describing words. And I have some of them here on the wall. Do we know what these words are? Yes. Okay. All right. Can you say them? Green. Okay. Green. Yes. Red, blue, white, brown, pink, yellow. Colorful. What does this mean? Colorful. All different kinds of colors in one area. Great. Then we have shiny, soft, rough, smooth, hard, round, easy, cold, and warm. Little, big, tall, and small. Deep, bright, clean, dirty, straight, crooked, curly, and young. Great. So we know these words. This is good. So can you describe this for me? What is this? Rough. Okay. It's rough. Sure, you can feel it. Tell me about it. What can you tell me about this? It's soft. It's soft. Yes. What else? Green. Okay. Yes, it's also green. Great. Great. Pardon? Black. Black, yes. Good. That's actually a new word. Let's find that word. Black. Okay. So we have white, and so the opposite of white is black. So let's put black here. There we go. Okay. Let's pull something else out. Can someone describe this? What is this, Azarni? You can take it. That's okay. Tell me. What is, it? what is it? Can you tell me? What can you tell me about this? Blanket. Okay. It's a blanket. It's soft. Well, let Azarni say it, okay? It's like a blue color. Okay. It's blue. That's right. What else? What words from here can you use to describe the blanket? Soft. 
soft, yes, that's true. That's true. What else? If it's really cold outside, you can put the blanket around you and then you will be warm. warm. Yes. The blanket is also very warm. Okay. Next up, let's see. We'll give this one to you. What do you what can you tell me about the hat? Green. It's green, yes. What else? Smooth. It's smooth, yes. Yes, that's true. Warm. It's warm, yes. We tend to wear these in winter a lot. Clean. Clean. Yes, it is. Very clean. Very clean. Okay, let's get the next one. We'll get we'll give this one to Lair. What do you think of these? What can you tell me about the drumsticks? Yes. It's yellow. It's yellow? Okay. Okay. What else? It's white in the top. It's white on top. That's right. What else can you tell me about them? Any ideas? Can anyone help? Hard. They're hard. Yes. If you hit them together, they don't... They, they hit very, very hard. Okay. Are they big or small? Small. Small. Yes. They're not big honking drumsticks. They're small. Okay, let's do another one here. Um, we'll get this to you. What can you tell me about this? The birdhouse. Brown. It's brown, yes. It's hard, that's right. Feel it. What does it feel like? Touch the birdhouse, then touch the blanket and see. Compare the two. Is it soft? No, it's not really soft, is it? It's, it's rough. It really is not very nice to your hands if you rub it. It's not very nice. Okay, good. There are many, many adjectives in English. Some of them are about the color of things, some of them are about the size of things, big or small. Some of them are about the age of an object, it's old or young. And some of them are about other qualities as well. Let's join the class as our new teacher, Paul, begins to teach the class some new adjectives and how to use them in sentences. So, we're going to add to these words, I have a number of other words here, and then we're going to try and use them in sentences. Um, okay, so we've already touched on black, which is in the handle of the chamois. Can I see this? Thank you very much. Okay, so we know black is the color of, of your hair. It's not the color of my hair. I don't have very much left anymore. Um, but black is also here on the lid of this water bottle. Okay, you can also see that there's some black on this cloth. What can you tell me about this cloth? It's very dirty, that's right, that's right. It hasn't been cleaned in a while. However, if I just show you this little piece, what can you tell me about this piece of the cloth? Clean. It's clean, that's right. Dirty and clean, they're opposites. Um, let's keep going. Okay. What I'm going to do is show you some coins here. I'd like you to take this one. You to take the, I'll trade you for the birdhouse. How about that? Thank you. And I'll give you this one. I'll take that from you. I'll give you this one. And I'll give Lair two coins. I'll trade you for the drumsticks. Thank you very much. Okay. What I would like you to do is take a look at your coin and then look at the coin of the person beside you. And tell me what are the differences? Different color. Different color? Okay, okay. How about the, the two ladies here with, with the quarter? What can you tell me about your quarter? It's a white. Okay, it's white. But look at the other one. How is it different? How is it different? It's a different color. Okay. 
Okay, let's take a look at these two pennies. I know they're a little bit small, right? These are small. But you can see the one seems to reflect the light a little better than the other one, right? So what can you tell me about this coin? It's shiny. It's shiny. It's shiny. That's right. That's right. Does anybody know the opposite of the word shiny? If not, that's okay. Not clean, no. We could say that this is a very clean penny and this is a very dirty penny. But there's another way. The opposite of shiny would be dull. Dull, okay? So I'm going to put it right here beside shiny so that you can remember shiny and dull, okay? The same thing with the $1 coin. If you can look at the two loonies that you have here, the two coins, you can see that this one is very shiny and this one is very dull. Okay, and the same thing with the two pennies. Can you see the pennies there, there? Okay, I'll take the shiny one too. You have the shiny one? Maybe? Hidden somewhere? Thank you, sir. You see that again, that one is very shiny and the other one is very dull. That's right. Okay. So we've got shiny and we've got dull. Now, we know that uh, some of you are as young as 10, right? We've got young over here, okay? Children, very young. They're very young. And then you have somebody like me. I have no hair anymore. And sometimes I walk like this, okay? What's the opposite of young? Old. Old, okay. This is a very familiar word. This is good. This is good. So we've got young and we've got old. Um, now let me show you a few other ones. Okay. Now we know that this book is what? Small, tall, Big, little. What what word can we use to describe this book? Big. Yes. Yes. Not really tall. No. Buildings and people can be tall, but not books. Can't have really a tall book. But we can have a big book. That's right. But it's also very heavy. Yes. Ooh. You get more than one. Yes. This can be very heavy. That's good. So we've got the word here, heavy, okay? Another word, do we have another word for heavy? What's another word for heavy? Anybody know? People can be like this too, when they're like, really big. Thin. Not thin, that's the opposite. Okay, another word we can use is fat, okay? Big, fat book. I'm going to put fat by heavy because they're very similar. Okay. Okay. Another word we can use to describe this book is thick. Thick. It's a very thick book. You can see there's a very wide spine on it. So we've got thick. Uh, we'll put that here too. Okay. Let's compare that with this one. What can you tell me about this book? Small. It's small. That's right. Now, is it... Do you think this is heavy? No. no. This is light. Light. Exactly. Not like the lights we have all around, but light as in... Oh, yeah, this is, this is easy. One, one hand, one finger. Uh, heavy, fat, thick. I'll put light over here. And what else can you tell me about this book? If this is thick, what would this book be? Thin. Thin. That's right. That's right. You don't want to say skinny, but you can say thin. It's a very thin book. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Okay. All right. So, very soon I will be giving you some cards and on these cards we'll have uh, some pictures you can see here there's a picture of a girl 
And there are lots of things you can describe on each of these cards. Um, so maybe I'll have the girls work together and the gentlemen work together. And what I'd like you to do is work with this, this sentence, this phrase, okay? It's a question. Can you show me the, and then use a describing word here, and then the object. So if I had, uh, let's say, the, the hat, what would you, how would you fill in these blanks? Can you show me the, not quite, we'll put hat there. What's, the de what's a describing word for this? Rough. rough, yeah. You could say rough, or you could say green. Rough, or you could say green. Or you could say soft, or you could say, I don't know, clean. You can use whatever describing word from here that fits. I can't really say, can you show me the black hat? Because is this a black hat? No, it's a green hat. Okay. So I'm going to start then by giving you, and I'll give the girls these cards here. Okay. And the gentlemen these cards here. You can spread them around on the floor, it doesn't matter. And in a few minutes, I'm going to ask you to show me some items here on the table. Okay. You noticed that when the teacher taught them how to describe something, they put the describing word first and the name of the object after that. They said, the green hat. Now that may be different than the way your language does it. In some languages, they would say, the hat green. But we don't do that in English. In English, we would say the green hat or the black cup. The describing word comes before the thing it's describing. That's how we do it in English. Now, you saw the teacher give them instructions about a card game. They're going to lay the cards out on the floor or on a table, and they're going to say to each other, can you show me the green hat? Can you show me the thick book? And the other person must point to the object or show it to them. If you have cards like that, you can play that game now. If you don't have cards like that, look around the room where you're teaching, and I'm sure you can find things in the room to describe. Maybe you can describe another person, or their clothing, or things on your teacher's desk, or something you can see outside the window, or objects like that.